welcome. In today's video I want to talk to you about colour triads and the colour wheel. Uh, I've made lots of examples that I want to talk to you about um, and I also want to demonstrate how I'm going to use a colour triad um, for painting this little setup that I've got here today in acrylic paints. Uh, some should be some really useful stuff in there for you. Um, to begin with I'll show you the colour wheels that I've painted using a range of um, everyday kind of colours really, the sort of thing you're likely to have in your uh, acrylic colour set or any painting set. Um, and then I'll go to a time lapse of this painting being made and then I'll come back and sum up at the end. Okay, I hope you find it useful. See you later. It's a good idea to consider the feel of the painting you're going to create before you start. The tones, brush marks and colours are as important as the subject for creating a particular mood in your work. For example, brooding or calm, serene or maybe joyful. In these colour wheel experiments I've explored a range of primaries, reds, yellows and blues, and also the potential for using lamp black instead of blue. I also lightened the tonal value of each colour with titanium white and mixed all three colours together in varying amounts to create tertiary colours, browns and greys, and lightened those with white too. This example uses the common primary colours of cadmium yellow, cadmium red and cobalt blue. This is a warm sunny palette and the vibrant blue creates clean purples and rich greens. The cooler lemon yellow in this colour wheel creates lime greens with the ultramarine blue and vibrant oranges with the alizarin crimson. Ultramarine blue has a purple quality that makes the most vibrant mauves when it's added to the bluish alizarin crimson. In this colour wheel, the warm earthy qualities of the yellow ochre, cadmium red and lamp black create rich colours. This is a similar range of colours as the Zorn palette created by the Swedish artist Anders Zorn as a scheme for portrait painting. The lightened colours around the edge of this wheel give you an idea of how this would work. It is useful to think of the colour wheel in terms of temperature, with the blue side of the wheel being generally cool and the orange side being warm. In this wheel, the coolness of the ultramarine blue and the warmth of the burnt sienna and yellow ochre is particularly striking. A triad system for a limited palette is found by selecting colours that are equally spaced around the colour wheel. This diagram shows a triad of the three primary colours of cadmium yellow, cadmium red and cobalt blue. Triads like this make for a vibrant painting so it may be worth selecting one colour to be more of an accent colour in the painting and allowing the other two to be more dominant. This diagram shows two complementary colours. Each colour on the wheel has a complementary or contrasting colour opposite it. This means that these colours enhance each other. For example, red looks redder next to green and vice versa. You can create a palette of limited colours by choosing just two colours that complement each other and then add an accent colour by stretching the colours towards one side or the other of the wheel. This diagram shows a split complementary. In this example, yellow is selected with the two analogous colours beside its complementary colour of purple. This type of palette is less dramatic and subtler than a simple juxtaposition of complementary contrasting colours. In this final example, the three colours have been selected from one side of the wheel to create a harmonious palette of similar colours. In this instance, the palette is selected from the warm side of the wheel. This is the primary colour triad I have used in the following demonstration. Cadmium yellow lends warmth to this rich palette and creates earthy greens when combined with the lamp black. The cadmium red and lamp black combination also creates voluptuous purple.
So here is the finished painting. Uh, it's sort of quite chunky, but it does capture the light, which is really what I was after with it. And I really like the way this palette has worked too. Um, there's the subject again, and here are the colours that I've mixed. Um, as you can see, they're all just variations of those three basic colours of cadmium yellow, cadmium red and lamp black with the addition of white. But I seem to have managed to do what I needed to do there. And the black looks really quite blue on the highlights on the paper there. Amazing how that works. I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching. See you again. Bye bye.